guys welcome back to a brand new disney heroes battle mode video now if you want to win yourself 50 quid guys there's only a couple days left to enter so you saw my video before if you click that top link in description take a screenshot and post it in my discord server which is the third link in description you're going to be able to get into the chance of winning 50 quid it literally takes you two seconds you don't have to play anything on blue stacks open it up click a game take a screenshot dump it in my discord server called submissions and be in for a chance of winning yourself 50 quid guys and you could spend it to get aerial come on come on guys and also it helps the channel out as well guys so do make sure you do that now i in, in all my excitement yesterday of having up bolt and doing everything like that i completely forgot to actually promote him so if i go back to the view here i can get bolt promoted then i want to do a little bit of story mode as well so I want to do another, I want to continue my sprees on Bolt. I mean, look at the man, he's got 6.3 million power. So my character's actually doing really well at the moment. And I'm I'm quite sort of peacefully working on Aerial in the background. You know, not really putting too much effort into it, but just slowly pushing up with Aerial, which is, you know, quite nice, really. And I'm just using whatever potions I have now to try and get her up as high as possible, but... I obviously used them all to get Dash's uh, Bolt's yellow badge yesterday. So, let's push in with Bolt here and then see how far we can get to. So, I like each time they do an update, they always increase the amount of um, stamina you get for diamonds. But let's do this. So, I can come into my items here and I can power promote him up to... Oh my goodness. You, I didn't realize you get him up to yellow six. We've, we've got a long road to go. Um... Let's promote him here up to yellow three. So this is quite a nice upgrade. It's the first character I've ever gotten to yellow three. So um I should really move my head up here a little bit actually because it, I've noticed it covers the there we go. So this is the first character I've ever gotten up to yellow three. So we've got max HP. It's gone up, which is nice because he does die quite quickly. His basic damage has gone up as well. So all in all, a pretty decent upgrade. And his power's just shot up again. Now, let's equip all of these, give them that extra little buff. Oh, I can't do that one yet. And I'm a little bit off of these, obviously I need to progress through the story mode now. I've got all his mods. I, I mean, I could take him higher than 70, but it's really a bit pointless. I've got, I'm not touching. Again, guys, I do want to make this very, very clear. You should never upgrade this past level one. It really is not worth it. Um, I guess with the rest of... So I've got 57 of these, but I don't know what to use them on. So I could take his red skill up by 11 levels. Um, but I just, I'm just i a bit scared because you can't get any shards anywhere. And it doesn't really do too much, so I'm just kind of holding on to them for now. But yeah, that's a good start. And then obviously, as you guys know, I've been just trying to get Aero up to yellow as well. My next kind of little mission. Um, but I need 12,000, so... Yeah, it, it's going to take a while, but, you know, it, it it's working quite slowly, quite peacefully. So that puts Bolt at a very good position there, which is very nice. So that's got Bolt into a good place. So let's jump into the invasion mode here and see what we can do. Because obviously I noticed that Bolt's in the invasion mode to use. So I think it's the first, second day? It's the second day. So, yeah, oh, I just put my three buffs there that's just going to make bolt ridiculously leveled and that's a pretty solid team there because we're going to get the healing from gerald so this is a pretty decent team that i've got to go through this invasion mode here and dash died yeah that's fine all right so now i've got 14 of these let's see um let's see what we can do here well, I'm going to do a, a few quick fights just so I can get onto a bit of a harder one. And then we, then we can have a little look and see what we can do with Bolt. Because we are going to be able to fly through these quite nicely. Uh, and I've gotten back into invasion mode as well recently. Like, I've been really enjoying it. There we go. Boom. Come on. Like, this is beautiful. Alright, so I've got 120 of the stamina now. So this is this is creeping a little bit harder. Uh, I wish you could do a, like a, a quicker version of the raids here, guys. Because the problem we have here 
is that these are just so easy it's just mindless clicking like i'd love it if you could just do one big button and raid up to like level 70 or whatever just to kind of make it that little bit more difficult we've got 16 more buffs now there we go i'm, I'm just gonna put a double heal team on just to keep bolt alive actually kermit's probably gonna oh kermit didn't die okay i'm shocked by that i was i was so sure kermit was gonna drop dead there All right, let, all right, let's let this one raid out, then we'll go and fight the boss. Oh, Bolt died. I'll keep the result on that. Okay. Now, let's see on one times damage how easy this is. Bolt's got his special up straight away. That did like 45 million damage. That one move from Bolt. Let's go in again. That isn't right. I'm just going to use Bolt on his own. Let's use Bolt on his own and see what happens. Here we go. Let's have a look at him. Can Bolt take the pots out on his own? That That is mental. Let's buff Bolt up a little bit more. Here we go. I'll just watch this go. Hit, ding, ding, ding. Done. That shouldn't happen. Oh, it should not be that good to just kill every single person on his own. He's literally invincible when it comes to fighting the boss. At least if you do it this way, you don't particularly ever have to worry. But yeah, look at that. He doesn't take any damage. The nice thing is no one else is getting um, rinsed. Let's go on a level 100 character. There, there is something... No, I understand that I have got Bolt to a stupid level. Got his mods to a stupid level as well. But this is ridiculous. That he can do all of this on his own. Just because of how OP his laser is. Alright, let's go in for another battle. Bing, 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 bing. Ah, because he does true damage as well. He can take out this guy's shields. How is he going this far on his own? Let's try it again. His yellow, um, his yellow uh, disc skill mod, whatever you want to call it, is actually quite useful, where it gives him the speed up. Alright, maybe I, maybe I could just put him on with like another character who does buffs like that to get him speed. I, if I, if I remember right, Goofy puts speed on people. Oh, Goofy, he died immediately. Look at that. That's just. So for anyone who doesn't have Bolt. I, I hope everybody has Bolt by now because I will I will be a little bit upset for you guys if you don't have Bolt. I wonder um Let's see, I there's probably more chances of, of it being more difficult when we go through these than anything else because there's obviously a few more characters to sort of tackle, but I'm gonna put Mickey Mouse at the back, just while I've got him on plus thirty six, which just makes him a bit more powerful than um Kermit. Just to keep him alive. But this literally shows you guys that Bolt, okay, he died there, but Bolt is literally fantastic for every mode. There's not like any in between. He just works for everything. I'll, I'll go, um, I'll go Kermit again. Basically, when it comes to invasion, I've had a lot of people asking me for tips. Now, yes, of course, there are certain, <clears throat> there are certain characters who are better than others for invasion. But the majority of it, guys, is as long as you have um, a solid team that can actually get through. As long as you have, basically the way I do it, if you have five characters that you can all drop in like that, about 90% of the time you're going you're gonna to be able to get very, very far through invasion mode without really thinking too much about it. So again here, it's been, what, about four minutes? And I'm already 140. Rinse and everything in one hit. I have got that macro as well, which allows me to do it automatically. Um, you can download it from Bluestack's macro library. You know, it's just it's just for the ease of it. So I'll show you what I mean. I can click here and go on to um, bots normal. Click. See, and then, then I can do it hands-free. And, you know, I can go to the loo or I can brush my teeth and come back. 
and I've cleared like five of these. So it's just another little tip, tips and trick to help because this game can become quite overwhelming with the amount of things that are happening and the amount of things you've got to do. So it's quite nice just about to run this macro, disappear and come back a few, you know, 30 minutes later, 40 minutes later if you're, if you're working or something and have basically the entire invasion cleared out. Yeah, just like you would if you were playing the game. So it's just a nice, it's a good little idea. And on mobile, if you're on mobile, you can just download an auto clicker and have it loop infinitely. But this is quite nice because you can shrink this and then go and use your computer as normal. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good way to be able to help your guild out with the invasion mode. Obviously, what it does miss out is you aren't using your power-ups. Maybe I should add that into the macro so it does click and then click use all every three or something. But, you know, normally you can let it go through until you die and then come back and smash in. Because now Winnie the Pooh's died, it's probably going to pop up with a message and it'll, it'll stop the loop out now. Yeah. So... So just look at all that I'm getting. And then I've got loads of stamina, which allows me to get loads of money, which allows me to go back in and um, obviously go into the shop. Obviously it's day one, so I never buy anything in the shop on day one. I always recommend you wait just to keep grinding up that XP ready. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving this mode at the moment, especially with Paul <laughs> and how ridiculous I've got him to 62 fire now. I normally um, always just push go on all, because if you have five relatively good characters, it's better to buff them all up. But these are always the bits which are a lot more difficult than actually doing the boss fights, I find. Um, but I really do like the, the way that you can just raid it all now. Scar's creeping up a little bit now as well. Scar used to be the most OP character in the game. It is mental how things change, guys. Oh, Bolt was the only one who survived then. And now I've got another 41 in here. So now, you know, the loop continues. So, anyway, guys, so I got a bit carried around invasion mode there. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Again, another video on Bolt, but I'm a little bit obsessed with Bolt at the moment, guys. I don't think you can blame me for that. So, <laughs> I'll see all of you legends in the next one.